But first, we have breaking news. The race for governor in this state might be more competitive than we first thought. Thank you for joining us on this Friday. I'm Matt Lorch. And I'm Jamie Tompkins. Former GOP Congressman Dave Reichert may be considering a run for governor. And that's according to State Party Chair Caleb Heimlich in an interview set to air this Sunday on The Divide with Brandy Cruz. I've heard from a couple other people that are looking at running in the, and announcing in the next couple weeks. Um, there's a developer and a builder that is looking at it, as well as former Congressman Dave Reichert is considering it. That's interesting, because I've been in contact with his office, and he has not said this, this to me, so I'll be following up. That would be certainly significant. I mean, is that somebody, Tina, who you think could challenge Inslee? No. I mean, okay. I, th I think Governor Inslee is well on his way to his third term. Look, it, look at the changing demographics within Washington state. Look at what people want for their elected officials. There's a reason why we won the 8th Congressional District, Congressman Reichert's old district, mm -hmm. with Dr. Kim Schreier in this cycle. Well, so far, two main Republicans officially entered the race for governor, Senator Phil Fortunato of Auburn and Republican Police Chief Lauren Culp. Now, we reached out to Dave Reichert, and he says he is being recruited to run, but he also says he likes his current job with a private government affairs firm. Now, you'll remember, Reichert retired from Congress last year after serving seven terms. He represented Washington's 8th District, and his retirement led to a competitive race in 2018. Kim Schreier won that race and in the process flipped a conservative congressional district. But his name has been a big name in this state for years. You know, before running for Congress, Reichert served as the King County Sheriff for almost a decade. He was the lead investigator on the Green River serial killer case in which 49 young women were murdered during the 1980s. Advances in DNA technology allowed the case to be solved years later. Before becoming King County Sheriff, Reichert was in the U.S. Air Force Reserves. By the way, you can watch that entire interview with a state party chairs this Sunday on The Divide. Brandy Cruz takes you inside the race for governor and presses the candidates to find out if their campaigns will focus on the issues instead of each other.